This video will demonstrate how to automatically synchronize a SharePoint online list with a MailChimp list. We're going to be using a subscription service by SharePoint AMS called SharePoint MailChimp Sync. This service integrates these two systems together. So the idea is to automatically publish contents found in a SharePoint list view to a MailChimp list. So the key here, and it's worth repeating, we'll be using a SharePoint list view to filter the records to be synchronized with the MailChimp list. And this gives us full control over which SharePoint list items to synchronize over to MailChimp. To get started, I'll get logged into the Sync dashboard. Once I'm logged in, I'm going to click on Add Connection. And it's going to walk me through a series of tabs for configuring this specific connection. And so before I populate this information, I want to show you my list and SharePoint Online is called Team Contacts. My MailChimp list is called Team Contacts. It can be called whatever. I just created this list so that I could push the contents from SharePoint over into MailChimp. This is the MailChimp list. And here's where I set up the configuration for that. So let's walk through here. The first thing you'll see is asking for the URL. This is simply my SharePoint site URL. Then we have the version. It's asking me what SharePoint version, 2010, 2013, or in our case, it's Office 365 SharePoint Online. It's going to ask me for my username and password. And I'll get this plugged in and click Next. This next screen asks me about my SharePoint list. So it needs to know what list and the list view. So if I do this drop down, it's going to show me all the lists that appear in that site that I just specified. And so what I want to do is find the specific list team contacts. That's the list that I showed you before right here. This is my SharePoint online list and I'm referencing it here. Then I need to decide what list view to use. I'm using list views so that not every single record in this list comes over. I'm using a list view to filter on. This is a list view called team newsletter view. And so that's the view I want to use. Here's all my views. I'll select team newsletter view and click next. That's going to ask me about my MailChimp access key. And if you don't know what this is, it's no big deal. As long as you can log into MailChimp, you can get it. The easiest way is if you're already logged in, just click here. And it's going to take you to a screen where you can copy and paste that key out. And then it's the MailChimp list itself. What list? These are all my MailChimp lists. Which one do I want to synchronize with? I've created that list over in MailChimp. It's this list right here called Team Contacts. Right now it has zero subscribers. And that's the list I've selected. Now we're going to map the fields. This is pretty straightforward. First name, last name, and email address. The first two are optional. It will require an email address. I'm going to go ahead and be a good citizen and give it a first name and a last name. And I'll specify the field that represents email out of my SharePoint list. Lastly is miscellaneous. This is where I'm going to give it a connection name. I'll call it Team Contacts. Owner email, MailChimp needs this. I'll say info. The sync frequency, do I want to sync it every hour, every five hours, once every 24 hours? I'll just say, you know what, every hour. And this is where I specify, do I want to get a notification? Do I want the system to send me a notification when a synchronization occurs? In most cases you don't, but I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, and send me a simple one. Alternatively, I could say, send me an email that has all the details of the synchronization. I don't feel like dealing with that, so I'll just say simple, just to let me know a sync job just took place. And now I specify the email address I want to receive it at. And then lastly, I will click Save. And that's all there is to it. I've just created a new sync job called Team Contacts. So now let's go over to the MailChimp list and see if it has synchronized. 
Okay, here we are over in the MailChimp interface, and we can see that our new team contacts list is here and it's populated. We have five subscribers. And that concludes this video walkthrough. If you would like to give this a try, there's a free trial available here on SharePointAMS.com.